Hey there, YOLO enthusiasts! Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something really special YOLO 11 architecture explain. Now, I know what you're thinking, YOLO 11, but wasn't YOLO V10 just released? Well, buckle up because YOLO 11 is here and it's raising the bar for object detection in a big way. Unfortunately, no official paper on YOLO 11 has been released yet. I would say it's very hard to understand what really happens in a model without a paper or at least its architecture diagram. But don't worry, we've got you covered. After spending countless hours poring over the documentation and diving deep into the source code, we've reconstructed the architecture and are here to explain everything as simple as possible. In this video, we'll break down each part of YOLO 11 architecture step by step. We'll start with three main parts of the architecture and their function, which are the backbone, the neck, and the head. We continue by explaining every YOLO 11 component parameters. Finally, we'll discuss how these components come together. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of YOLO 11 design. So, if you're ready to uncover the secrets of YOLO 11, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's jump right into it. In general, the YOLO architecture is divided into three parts, there are the backbone, neck, and head. Backbone is the deep learning architecture that basically acts as a feature extractor. The neck combines the features acquired from the various layers of the backbone model. The head predicts the classes and bounding box regions which is the final output produced by the object detection model. This architecture drawing is based on YOLO 11 architecture file, which is located in Autolytics CFG Models 11 folder. YOLO 11 has five variants, which are N for Nano, S for Small, N for Medium, L for Large, and XL for Extra Large. To determine the YOLO 11 variant, there are three parameters. These parameters are depth multiple with multiple and max channels. The depth multiple parameters determine how many bottleneck blocks in C3K2 block and PSA blocks in C2PSA block. The width multiple and max channels parameters determine the output channel. Block numbering in the architecture based on the architecture file. Numbering starts from the backbone section and starts from zero. For example, this convolutional block is the first block in the architecture, so we assign it the number zero. And we draw the block as shown on the screen. Next, this convolutional block is the second block, so we assign it the number one. Then there is the p value. T is the notation adopted from efficient depth, which represents the feature level. For the C3K2 block, we give number 2. And so on. After that, I will explain the blocks or modules writing in the architecture file. In general, the format consists of from, repeats, module, and arcs. From refers to the module or block that is connected. Minus 1 indicates that this block is connected to the previous block. Repeats defines the end parameter in the C3K2 and C2PSA blocks. Module refers to the name of the module or block. Halks are the arguments used. In the conf block, there are three arguments, base output channel, kernel size, and stride size. In the C3K2 block, repeats are used to define the end parameter. This end parameter determines the number of bottleneck blocks. However, to determine the value of n, repeats are multiplied by the depth multiple according to the variant used. There are three arguments, base output channel, argument for defining the use of the C3K block, and the expansion value, which is used to control the capacity of the bottleneck block. This block is newly introduced in YOLO 11. In the SPPF block, there are two arguments, base output channel and kernel size. In the C2PSA block, repeats are used to define the end parameter. This end parameter determines the number of PSA blocks. However, to determine the value of n, repeats are multiplied by the depth multiple according to the variant used. There is one argument, base output channel. This block is newly introduced in YOLO 11. In the upsample block, there are three arguments, output channel size, scale factor, and the upsampling algorithm. In the concat block, since it combines the output from two blocks, the value of from is in the form of a list. In this example, concat connects the previous block with block number 6. There is one argument, which is dimension. In the detect block, it can connect to several blocks. 
there is one argument number of classes. The YOLO11 input is an image with three channels. Next, the backbone. This backbone is made up of numerous convolution layers that extract distinct features at various resolution levels. This backbone begins with two convolutional blocks with kernel size 3 and stride size 2. The spatial resolution of the output is reduced into half when stride 2 is used. For example, if the input resolution in the first convolutional block is 640 by 640, the output resolution after processing will be 320 by 320. To obtain the output channel, use the following formula. This formula is obtained from the code in the tasks.py file. First, we find the minimum value between the base output channel and max channels. The minimum value is then multiplied by the width multiple parameters. For example, we will calculate the first convolutional blocks output channel using the YOLO 11L variant with a width multiple of 1 and a max channels of 512. The base output channel in the first convolutional block is 64. So, here is the calculation. First, we find the minimum value between 64 and 512, then multiply it by 1. The result is 64. 64 is the output channel in the first convolutional block if you use the YOLO 11L. You can analyze the second convolutional block with the same way as the first one. Next is the C3K2 block. This block contains three parameters, N, C3K, and E. The value of C3K also corresponds to the variant being used. Based on this code, if the variant used is M, L, or XL, then C3K equals true. In block C3K2 number 2, C3K equals false. For the N variant, it will be false. However, in the L variant, it will be true. Next, there is another convolutional block with a kernel size of 3 and stride 2. The C3K2 block comes next, with n parameters equal to 2 multiplied by the depth multiple, C3K false, and E equals 0.25. This block's output is also connected to the neck. Next, there is another convolutional block with a kernel size of 3 and stride 2. And then another C3K2 block with n parameters equal to 2 multiplied by the depth multiple, and C3K true. This block's output is also connected to the neck. Next, there is convolutional block. And then there is C3K2 block. This block will be connected to SPPF. Following that, the explanation of the neck. First, SPPF. SPPF, Spatial Pyramid Pooling Fast, is used after the last convolution layer on the backbone. The main function of the SPPF is to generate a fixed feature representation of objects of various sizes in an image without resizing the image or introducing a spatial information loss. After that, there is C2PSA or cross-stage parcel with position-sensitive attention. This YOLO11 new block helps the model learn global relationships between pixels or features at different positions, enhancing better spatial representation. Next is the upsample layer. This layer is used to increase the feature map resolution. In YOLO11, using the nearest neighbor upsampling method, this method works by repeating the values of nearby pixels or elements of the image or input tensor to fill in the newly generated pixels in a larger image. This layer is used to increase the feature map resolution of the C2PSA to match with the feature map resolution of this C3K2 block. The upsample feature map will be combined with the features from this C3K2 block using concap. When using concap, the number of channels is summed up whereas the resolution is unchanged. For example, we will compute the concatenation of this C3K2 block feature map and this upsample feature map. We use the YOLO 11L variant. The output of this C3K2 block is 40 by 40 by 512. And the upsample output is 40 by 40 by 512. The result of concatenation is 40 by 40 by 1024. The following is C3K2 block. The resolution of the C3K2 block feature map will be upsampled to match the resolution of the feature map of this C3K2 block. Using concat, the upsample feature map will be combined with the features from this C3K2 block. The following is C3K2 block. The feature map of this block will be used as an input for the detect block. This block is specialized for detecting small objects relative to the image or video frame size. 
The output of this block is also used as input to this convolutional block. The convolutional block uses a kernel size of 3 and stride 2. Furthermore, concat will be used to combine the feature map from this convolutional block with the feature map from this C3K2 block. Next, there is another C3K2 block. The feature map of this block will be used as input for the detect block. This block is specialized for detecting medium-sized objects. The output of this block is also used as input to this convolutional block. After that, concat will combine the feature map from this convolutional block with the feature map from C2PSA block. Finally, there is another C3K2 block. This block's feature map will be utilized as an input for the detect block. This block is specialized for detecting large objects. Congratulations, you have finished learning the YOLO 11 architecture. Thank you and until next time.